Rob Tebbett for ID Boxing. Delighted to be joined by Shane McGuigan. Shane, we're right in the immediate aftermath of Chris Bill and Smith's win over Isaac Chamberlain. That was some fight there. Yeah, exactly. It was a, it was a fantastic fight. Did what he had to do. Um, only had you know, a six-week camp, but five weeks of training. So just come off um, having a newborn baby as well. So uh, yeah, lots of um, yeah, lots of uh, positives to take from it. And he won the you know, won the fight against a guy like Isaac Chamberlain, who's got plenty of skills and talent, but. I always knew pace and, uh, and making a, a, a close, short to close range fight was always going to be the way to, to get him um, get him going. I was surprised he actually stayed in there so long and I'm surprised that he, he finished the, the fight, but uh, credit to both of them. Great fight. Chris, as he always does, came out, tried to set the pace early. He looked like he did some real damage to Isaac Chamberlain early on in the fight. How significant was that? Oh, listen, it's, it's, uh, it completely swung the fight. Yeah, he, that that that's the thing. You can't let a guy like him ha have range and, and set his jab up and you know, loop his shots. And you take his power away from him for, by making it physical and and, um, and and shortening the range. So, a bit like when Josh Taylor boxed Regis Progre. You know, just get straight in, get straight on the chest, um, fight at a high pace. Physicality is, is what is what um, saps the skill. Um, and you know, and that's what the you know, that's what he did. That's what Josh did. So, um, yeah, we've uh, we got we got pretty good tactics on that one. Happy with it. Chris has uh, spoken very openly about his desire to bring a show down here, considering the atmosphere in there, considering how good that fight was. Surely you've got to be coming back to Bournemouth sometime soon. I think so, yeah. Thank you to uh, Ben Shalom and Boxer, and thanks to Jake for tirelessly um, trying to trying to get the fights down here, really. I mean, we've been we've been pestering Eddie Hearn for a long time, We and then, um, you know, Chris, uh, Chris was a free agent, and we were, we were pestering the two of them, trying to get someone to bring a fight down. And, and look, Eddie was uh, was interested, but he wasn't, you know, not on the next one. He was thinking about it would have had to be a world title fight or something to bring bring it down here. So, I'm really, really thankful that Sky came down and um, and gave us the, well, gave Chris the opportunity to showcase his skills to his um, his home support, really. And um, yeah, amazing. Cheers, John. Thanks, mate. Um, yeah, amazing, and I'm, I'm just so so happy that that it was such a great turnout, even with a short short amount of time to sell tickets. We've spoken in the past about taking your Josh Taylors, your Carl Framptons, people who had elite amateur experience through right to world titles. Chris Billings with half and half sort of record as an amateur. How proud are you of the work that you've done with that man and the work that he's put in? Very proud. You know, um, I think you're right. Yeah, it's a combination of my, you know, me me working tirelessly with him and, and trying to maximise what he has, his assets and his tools, and and also him dedicating himself and listening to me. So we've got a fantastic relationship. I don't get that with every fighter. Um, and I'm, I'm glad and thankful that I've got it with Chris. That he, you know, he trusts me uh, with the decisions. He, you know, he, he never questions anything. He always puts the effort in. Always puts the training in. Um, is always just turns up at the gym, complete professional. Um, so I'm, I'm just so proud of him. I really am. Like, and that's just so genuine, honestly. Like, I'm, I'm so proud of him because 43 amateur fights, 31 wins. You know, n never won a uh, like an international we ever went on and, and did anything didn't, tried for GB three or four times didn't get on now look at all those guys that are on GP you know what I mean he's there Europe, Brit, British well former British but Commonwealth and European champion number two in the IBF uh, top ten in, in every single governing body um, you know we, we took him on we signed him for Cyclone and uh, you know I just I'm so I'm so grateful for all of these people fucking off sorry for my language but all of them are fucked off and he stood here, kept training, still thankful, still appreciative, didn't take the bait, um, and you know stuck with our decisions and, and stuck with us and and and, um, and just kept putting his head, you know, put, screwing his head on and putting his head into the game and training and, and trying to improve himself and. and it's just amazing on nights like this. We spoke before about Jai Upper Tires, uh, the new IBF Cruiserweight champion, his promoter being around here. World title fight next, sound good? Fantastic, yeah. I mean, it's you know, that was a hard fight. Upper has broke his jaw in two places. Um, but, you know, once again, that's a, that's a hard fight. But it, you, don't get, you don't want to be gifted a world title. Uh, you don't want to fight for a vacant title. He's just beat the man. Um, and I think, you know, it's not going to be an easy fight. But... If he gets the tactics right and he sticks it on him and, and makes sure that uh, he does it in bursts and, and uh, we'll have to have a proper training camp for that one, a proper long training camp. Um, but all, with, all, with all that said, I think it's still a winnable fight. I think we can win it. Um, Makabu, I think he's fighting uh, Riakpur. Lawrence is a world champion. He's, he's still in my stable. So, um, yeah, just, just be nice.
Certainly would be. Right, quick last couple before you let your uh, your beautiful mother to be get her home. Um, Adam, uh, Adam Azim, Hassan Azim. I spoke to him afterwards. Not very happy with his performance. Very down on himself, but still very early stages for him as a pro. Yeah, deflated. But I mean, as he should be. He sets up. Yeah, you know, we set a high standard in, in the game. Uh, uh, sorry, in uh, in boxing in our gym and. Um, yeah, he didn't. He didn't perform to his best ability. He buzzed that guy really early. Went in. I've never seen someone try and finish someone that much in the first round in any fight I've ever been involved in. I've never seen someone land that many unanswered heavy shots. Uh, but he was just cuffing him and missing him and wasting energy and disappointed in him. But at the same time, happy with the fact that you know he he bit down on his gum short. He, he should never have had to bit down on his gumshaw against a guy like that but he's 21 years of age Chris is just about to turn 32 on Tuesday a 21 year old Chris Bullum Smith probably would have done exactly the same it takes time and effort and um, it takes time and experience to get your you know to get that mindset so that when you do have someone buzzed you don't go rushing in trying to kill him and you, you set the jab up and yeah, you never see Canelo running in like that, throwing silly shots, do you know what I mean? You never see a real good, clever tr pressure fighter. But the beauty of it is that he's 21, he's got time to learn. Um, he can punch. He's been in a hard fight, which I didn't want him to be in, but he's been in a hard fight and he's 21, and that's just gained experience. So um, he can be harsh on himself. The only criticism that he should have or would, will have is the fact that it was on Sky Sports and people are going to write him off, you know? If that was untelevised, that would, that's exactly what every fighter needs at that stage. But it's just the fact that Sky put him in on second of the bill, and, and um, yeah, thanks, mate. And Sky put him on second of the bill, and we're so thankful for them to do that. It's just unfortunate that you know that he he blew his uh, yeah you know, <laughs> blew his gasket early on. <laughs> And just lastly on Caroline Dubois, uh, another impressive performance from her, getting the stoppage win. Uh, how impressed were you with her performance? Really impressed, but I always know that. I, I think I think Caroline's super, super talented, um, and you know it's only she's only going to show her talent when people start firing back at her. Uh, she m massive improvements from the um, from the first fight. Yeah, you know, first fight she was throwing far, tough, far too far out. She was nudging in this fight. She knew that. Um, this girl wasn't going to throw many punches and be very defensive and try and you know, get through the, the six rounds. So close the close the gap down well, touch the jab on the way in and work the body really well. And I think you know um, I was really happy with it. Okay, well, Shane McGregor, I'll leave it there. Congratulations on another impressive win for Chris Billum Smith. You've worked a long way for that. Um, look up, look forward to catching up with you soon. Well done. Cheers, Rob. Thanks, mate. Appreciate it.